Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is Pepe. This is the third War of Alliance War Season 21. And yeah, Kenobi is facing Maiden. Yeah, this recognized alliance. Uh, this alliance is well known as using mods, hacks, to win um, against other alliance. And yeah, this war was... We, we already knew that we are, this war were going to be really, really hard if... if possible the hardest war ever uh, not because they are strong but because they don't die uh, unfortunately uh, Kabam hasn't detected them at all to be honest they don't track them uh, we report them every time we can every time we send them proof and they don't do anything unfortunately um, they won't do anything about this war either but anyway I had this fight uh, on the first fight lane 9 uh, OG vision you you guys already know this is not an issue for Corvus Corvus does it easy and in fact I won two missions on this fight I lost my 50% of HP but it's not it's okay I was boosted uh, I just heal back my HP uh, there is no problem and on the second fight uh, on this mini boss I had to fight this my Mysterio uh, and yeah uh, I had two missions man just look at the crits I'm doing 14k per <laughs> per punch per hit and yeah I just used in the end five hit combo I just used my special and he died like nothing <laughs> on the second uh, fight uh, on this section 2 lane 3 I had to use Warlock on this fight because if I use uh, Corvus he's he's an anti Corvus on this especially uh, on this specific fight okay you can't not use Corvus on this note or you gonna die you gonna time out and there is nothing you can do because you gonna uh, Colossus is an stubborn champ and uh, every time you crit, he gains a uh, an armor up buff, and once they he get he gets armor ups, um, and you crit him, you gonna do zero damage. So there is no way you can take down this Colossus on this node with Corvus. So that's why I used uh, Warlock, and you guys saw <laughs> how easily it was. Uh, on this second node, on lane three, section two, I had to fight this Dark Hawk, and honestly, uh, there is nothing I can I can say to <laughs> to tell you what to do because you guys saw. On Corvus has two missions or more. It's an easy fight, and yeah, for to finish the war, uh, we were on stream. If you guys don't watch me on stream, I do a stream every day. Uh, on Twitch, that's the platform I use to stream. And anyway, uh, we had to fight this Modok. I had to get a uh, true strike because on this fight, if you don't get true strike, it can be a problem. Okay, you can easily die if you don't have true strike. I have died before because not having true strike. Okay, but as I got true strike, it was a really easy fight. I used SP2 back to back, and it was really easy the fight went too smoothly and yeah anyway uh, i brought you here guys two videos two fights uh, from my teammate blitz he's from bg1 as well um you probably know already some probably don't but we were streaming the last part of this war <clears throat> and uh, these guys from maiden uh, they said my uh, teammate Blitz used a uh, hack or mod to take down this Iron Man Infinity War on this note but dude uh, do you guys even know that Void is a really if not the best matchup against Iron Man Infinity War especially on this note yeah because this is a rage note you can't do uh, you can't use like Corvus or Ghost because he's going to get unblockable and once he gets unblockable it gets really sketchy so it's really hard to beat this node if you're using a champ that is dealing too much damage over over time no okay anyway uh, he decided to use Void because he has a low a low damage 
uh, well, not low damage, but the way he was fighting, he was just trying to use uh, light attacks instead medium attacks. Like, dude, uh, on his 5 feet combo, you usually use medium hit, light, light, light hit, and end with a medium hit again, right? Like, almost everyone does that. But when he had an opening, like doubly powering, uh, doubly parrying him uh, instead he used uh, medium attack he decided to use light attack and just to four hit combo that way a uh, rage wouldn't trigger the fury wouldn't trigger and unblockable wouldn't trigger okay that's why uh, he just um, made he made iron man infinity war gain one fury at all so there was no unblockable at all uh, and in the in the last 50 percent he just decided to use um heavy attacks that way if armor up is activated he won't get a uh, auto block it okay okay so it was a really really easy fight for him and for the last fight guys damn this i think this has been the most um exciting and really really bad fight my f my teammate blitz have had before like dude i don't think i i think he was really nervous at this point because the war was really really tight okay so um maiden had died like seven times at this point and they had finished like they had nothing uh, any note there there was no note that they would uh, give another death okay so the problem was that if my teammate blitz didn't solo this boss we would have tight versus maiden okay maiden we would have tight and that's a loss for both of, of, the, of the alliance okay so uh, imagine imagine the nerves he had when he was fighting this thing okay and the problem on this fight that i mean blitz usually uh, solos every boss fight uh, at thing rank th rank three he always solo without a problem but uh, because it's a rank three okay so on this fight guillotine is full boosted like he's full boosted with those six hours boost uh, just look at the guillotine pay pi it's too much it's like close to his 25k pay pi okay it's too much that much that when he hits that thing he gets his protection and you guys may know that when thing um, activates protection he reduces all damage by like 80 90 percent you basically don't do any damage when protection is on so that this fight was really really long guys really long like he finished at one minute and 40 seconds left on the fight so yeah it was a really really determinated fight because if he had died as i said before we would have lost like yeah you guys gonna see at the end how the war ended and yeah he ended up uh, solo in this boss <laughs> oh yeah luckily for, for us um what else can i say yeah yeah guys uh, what i was saying and um, these guys uh, be careful be careful if you're facing them because uh, they use mods they it's 100 percent sure that they use they use them but unfortunately uh, kabam don't detect them there is no way so if someone that is from ccp or or that has contact with kabam want to report them go ahead you guys can do that uh, anyway we have tried but they don't do anything it's okay well what we what we do is to beat them <laughs> we beat them regardless if they use hacks or not they have never never beaten us never yeah and this fight is almost over he's close to he's at nine percent uh, hp yeah 120 he finished the fight and yeah we were like oh my god you blitz you did it you did it bro yeah look at that look at the score yeah we uh, this alliance um 
I borrow the the names because I uh, we don't like them. Uh, and yeah, seven deaths. They died seven times, and we died six times. So if my teammate have died versus the thing boss, we would have lost. But we didn't. <laughs> we were lucky. <laughs> and my friend, he did an amazing fight. He's he's a he's a beast, dude. Uh, what else can I say, Blitz? I know you're gonna watch my video. And yeah, bro. You did it, bro. You closed their mouth like, oh yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, congrats to the MVPs on this uh, war. Boricua, E-E-T-T-T-E-T, -E -T -T -E -T. <laughs> and team. Yeah, uh, congrats to them. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get uh, MVP this war. We are close to 200 MVPs on, on my stats. And yeah, let's see if I get them on this season. I hope so. Um, this was uh, all my fights, the fights from my teammate. And yeah, guys, uh, again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to um, hit the like button. Subscribe if, if you haven't. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>